Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, so t today, uh, this is going to be different, okay? Um, first of all, before we get started, uh, I'd like to welcome all of you who are tuning in. I am the pastor of this ministry. Amen. And I want all you guys to, you know, feel free to engage. Uh, today is Fellowship Social Mixer. And uh, I encourage us all into, uh, you know, check out the link in the community tab. And uh, again, just engage uh, the we fellowship, right? Um, we, we are relational people, right? Amen. Uh, so again, today, welcome everyone. And for those who are followers of Christ, uh, of this ministry, and, and trusting God, trusting that the Lord has sent me to speak his word. Amen using me as a willing vessel. Glory be to God. All the praise, all the honor belongs to him. And um, I welcome all of you. Feel free to share. Feel free to listen to other uh, video messages. Amen. Today is going to be a little bit different. <coughs> today is going to be a little bit different, family. So the Holy Spirit today was telling me to uh, speak, to, to give your testimony share your testimony and I've done that earlier on right up uh, months ago you know uh, sporadically throughout um, uh, the video messages and uh, you know I, I the Holy Spirit told me to share my testimony and I always have to give a uh, give the disclaimer I'm, I don't know I, I, I'm going to try not to be long, uh, just flow with me, family, and um, seek the word yourselves, amen, and I hope this word blesses you, I hope this word, you know, I have to always speak to our heart of encouragement, and um, I hope this word meets you where you are, amen, and, and, and this word minister unto you, you know, and just share my witness uh, to many of you, amen, so guys, Oh, wow. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so, and I'm just going to be plain about it. And honestly, it, if any family members run across uh, in, in traffic, if they're, if they're scrolling through YouTube and they come across uh, this ministry or, or if it's shared, you know, honestly, it, it, it is what it is. You know, I, I can only speak the truth. I can only be truthful. To myself, I can only be uh, naked. I am naked in the eyesight of the Lord, right? And the truth is the truth, right? Um, however people may feel about it, so be it, right? It, 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 you're not fighting with me, okay? Let's, let's, I want to be that very, I want that to be very clear to anyone, to any of my family members. You're not fighting with me. And I'm not expecting, nor am I, am I shaming anyone, uh, just, you know, part of my testimony, uh, part of my testimony, right? Um, I'm the third child, the, the, the third child, um, the youngest. I have an older brother uh, and sister, sister before my brother, than myself. Um, growing up, it's been... you know, kind of wayward. Um, my, my, my dad, my stepdad, amazing guy. Uh, and he was, he, he was the only, only that I could even think of. Honestly, the only male, and you know, excluding my brother, but I think that fell off. I, I, I don't know what's happening with that. Um, the only man that has literally heard the words and felt it physical man that has said I love you and the only man that has believed in me the only man and and even encouraged me you know even he he wasn't perfect right um you know he, he said some things that hurt my feelings before um but ultimately amazing guy amazing dad and the only dad I know um my mom I honor my mom I honor my father 
my mom very stern very very stern woman um strong strong resilient beautiful woman right um giving very giving and you know the giving was at, at times you know uh I, I can't even say that because whatever i was about to say I, i'm being convicted in my spirit so i'm not going to say that very giving um and just independent very 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 much so independent woman um she she you know again it wasn't perfect uh she for for whatever reason I, i've heard stories but i don't know um i'm i'm unsure um that she she had taken in her uh her sister her sister's children which were two of them which are two of them uh, and i'm not going to mention any names and raised them with us so all together that's seven heads in one household and you know parents took great care of us but yet you know they're you know there were some not so great times um sometimes lack um everyone done their own thing right everyone just done that you know being being young children and middle age and high school so forth you know every it was disconnect pretty much in the household very disconnect and just disconnect but orderly orderly but there was disconnect the disorder uh was you know the the, the fights with with us among among the children and just a lot of bickering pretty much just a lot of bickering and you know you have more than you know than i do and you supposed to share you know that type of thing the bickering and um and also with the the physical fights with with my mom and dad you know it wasn't pleasant at all um there were drugs involved alcohol involved uh promiscuity you know there, there, i mean honest i don't know if anyone knows but i know <laughs> that there was uh and i'm pretty sure i'm i can i can believe i can really i can really almost believe that you know my mom not only from what she told us you know as we got we became adults right that she could you know bear witness to there there was you know um adultery right there was you know stepping outside of the marriage not so much sure with my mom but I can tell you, there, right? I wonder. But anyway, and I love you, mom. I, I love you, mother. Right? I, I, I love you so, so much. You don't understand how much I, I love you, and I care for you so much. Um, my dad. I know. I, I know. I know, and like literally, I, I know, I know, I know for a fact, I literally, I witnessed it with my two eyes, not the act, but you can say after the act, right, you know, anyway, um, I would I would I would like to say that you know we 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 you know were middle class um you know homes um that I can recall maybe one yeah one time in middle school uh, we uh did live in an apartment it was at 3 Three bedroom apartment. Yeah. Three bedroom apartment. And that was middle school. And I don't know how long that lasted. But throughout the years, it's just, you know, middle class. Even subsidy type 
situations or I guess uh, you would call it today I don't know well you call it today um, probably um, hood housing right homes uh, my parents did um, were in the the act of you know uh, purchasing their own home but something always something would happen I, I, I'm not sure but growing up I've always wanted to like I was I, I was a I was like a follower especially with my brother like I just wanted to be up under him like I, like wherever he goes I want to go if he jumped the train track I would follow behind him like that's how much I just adored my brother and you know and in just the expression of you know him my brother like my only brother like my only brother right and so I just wanted to be up under my brother and also always wanted to be up under my mother like I felt like even still to this day I feel like I, I'm supposed to protect my mom that's not the case but you know that, that's not a fact but well I wouldn't say that it's 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 not necessary if, if, if hear me it, it, it's not necessary it's not needed but I just feel that like when I'm around her like I have to protect her if we out and about I have to protect her like I'm right there I'm watching other people right watching other people watch her that that type of thing you know even younger you know when we were out and about or just you know around my dad's people you know I'm like right there just watching everything just being observant and just you know just watching how people you know how people react and just treat it you know just treat her and I was just that protected that that small child trying to be a protector wasn't much I could do right <laughs> anyway um all was good, you know, we had our ups, we had our downs, you know, we, it, some days were good, some days were not. Um, time passed, um, you know, and with me, I was, man, I was kind of reckless, you guys. Wow, I was, man, I don't even, to be honest, like, I don't. I don't, I, I don't, I honestly don't want to speak about it, um, but I, I have to be obedient. I have to be obedient and say what I have to say. I, I, I have to be obedient to, to God. Um, I was reckless, you guys. I was reckless. I've done things that my mom don't even know about, Right. She probably has an idea with things like breaking into breaking into houses, um, breaking in cars. Well, unlock cars, right? Unlock vehicles. Going into a hotel. I think I think she knows about this. Going into a hotel, just uh, theft of all the master keys uh, to a hotel, and stealing alcohol. Stealing chips, candy, you know, just things like that. And um, being you know, sexual activity, you know, uh, curious. Even though then, even as a young child, you know, the spirit of perversion was on me, right? Um, just this unnatural affection towards uh of the girls and, and, and with, even as a child even towards women grown women you know um and still you know and just being curious with with, with the boys even you know um this older man this older Caucasian guy you know he even tried with me um he tried he tried um but I'm a kid, right? I, I, I'm not open, you know? Um, 
wow. I hope this, I, this testimony, my testimony will set some people free today. My testimony will set some people free today. And, you know, men asking, you know, for activity, no, you know, uh, oral, no, even my, even my sister, my, my older sister boyfriend even asked me for oral, no, no, and I thought, like, how trifling, like, my sister's boyfriend, I guess it was her boyfriend, we, we, you know, we knew it, um, no, no, I will not, cannot, no, right, and my sister, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, right? And um, can't say that for the other, for the other person, right? Uh, that had you know dealings with my sister's boyfriend, my sister's boyfriend, uh, you know. But anyway, and and also. Some of my some of my uh dad's people, his family, right? And mind you, he's my step my stepdad. And yet he he's my dad, right? That's the only dad I know. Um even some of his people, right? You know, the 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 trying to um get me to do certain things or, you know, talking how much they like me or how much, you know, all this. I'm a child. No, I'm a child, right? I kind of, you know, believe it or not, I, I felt like I did have some sense. Like, it, I, was, I wasn't a dumb child. I, I felt like I literally had some sense and know when to say, and know when to say no and how to say no. And, you know, some uh, some situations, you know, I was shy about, you know, would bite my tongue and not say anything. Um, I to be plain about it, there was, you know, uh, some molestation. Uh, people and his family. One particular person. Some of the men in the family. That I could recall, to they really tried and and liking on me and uh, liking on a child, which was you, you're a grown man. No, right? Tried, yet I would not give the person the opportunity, right? Um. Yeah, it's affections that you know should have not been. It's a couple couple men in his family. And even, you know, in one particular person, like, molestation was a female. And she, she was young, was a female um, in his family. And no one knows about that. So I'm it's part of my testimony. This will free some people today. This will free some people today. And, uh... You know, I was an active kid. I um, run around with the boys, trying to be up under my brother. Uh, done well in school. Didn't want to go to school. Yet, just lost. No guidance. I, I honestly feel like I didn't have any guidance. Only with... Uh, other people in my life, um, even in my younger adult years, you know, uh, people that I gleaned from, uh, people that that I felt like really cared for me and my well-being, and and those who tried to encourage me, um, I was just lost, no guidance, and just trying to do me right, uh, trying to find comfort, trying to find. Just substance in in, in in things or people, right? Um, 
just trying to find something lost. As I've gotten older, um, you know, a teen pregnancy, right? Um, teen pregnancy. And, you know, she's now 25, gorgeous, my, my baby. And um, amazing, still still is. I mean, we, we don't always make great, great decisions. Amazing. God had grace with me with her. She was so easy. Easy. And, um... Easy, easy child to deal with. I can honestly say, easy child to deal with. I don't want to speak so much about my parents and their shortcomings. And... I want, I want to just focus on me now. And just learning to forgive even now as an adult, right? As a mature adult. Learning to forgive who they were not, right? And uh, my mom is still with us. God bless her heart. Um, my dad has been years or well, 10 years about 10 years old a little over 10 years since he's been gone um aside from that me trying to find trying to find trying to find trying to find and trying to find substance and people and things and just carrying on a wayward life uh in in in, in so-called relationships Right and and just overdoing, just just giving myself, giving myself depletion, right? Just depletion and really just bumping my head, really just bumping my head, and you know, uh, just not knowing, right? Trying and learning to take care of myself, uh, to, to take care of my daughter. You guys, believe believe it or not, I didn't start like literally learning how to cook till I was like twenty twenty one. Right? Like I I I didn't know, right? I didn't know. Um I had to, right? It it was just not serving myself, but you know, my child foremost, right? And um just trying to find substance. My there was it was worldly substance, right, that that, that I attained. World 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 Wardly, I don't know why that sounds so weird coming coming off my tongue. Wordly, earthly substance, right? Feeling tongue tied, and it 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 still left me depleted. I I wasn't full. The, the void was not being fulfilled, and I mentioned that in in one of the video messages, um, probably a couple of days ago. Uh, it, it's just, right, just dealing with all these things and, and, and all the times that the Lord just, just covered me, uh, all, all the things that, you know, that I've, that I've done, right, all the things that were unpleasant, all the, to other people, and the, all the things that were not pleasing in the eyesight of God, it was just a lot, right, didn't seem like it. But it was actually a lot. It was a lot. And slowly, slowly just dying in the inside. Just slowly dying. Just being dry. Just like, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just remember when Jesus saw that fig tree? That fig tree wasn't good for anything. Couldn't feed you. Just dry. Just, just, just there. Just there. There. And Jesus said let's put some word on it um, and Jesus says um, 
it, you know, it was barren. It didn't, it didn't, you know, um, <laughs> it was just there. And, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, Mark, Eliabeth, I think it was a Mark. Yeah, or Matthew. Um, when Jesus, <laughs> hmm, that fig tree, that's, that's, that's how my soul felt. When Jesus saw the fig tree in Matthew chapter 21, Jesus was hungry, sees a fig, sees a fig tree and leaf, inspects it, finds nothing, but leaves and curses it, saying, May no fruit ever come from you again. Right? And that's how I felt. My soul just withering. Feeling like I was. Right? No life in me. Though, though I thought I was just pouring out life. Not no, nothing. Just leaf. On the outside looking in, you you inspect me. Yeah, that that is not God's child. Okay, let's be plain about that. I, I I was not. I was not in the fold. I wasn't living it out, right? But yet something in me. I know when I think about it today. God, His hand was over me. Even in my sin, even in, even when I, God's hand was over me. And that's how I felt. And yet thinking that I'm living life, I'm exuding life, I, I'm like just being the nicest person, helping everybody out, being a yes, yes woman. Well, well then being a yes girl, I now... Glory be to God, my walk with Christ. I am being a woman. I am a woman, right? I couldn't say that then because I was just a girl, immature, very immature, very immature, in darkness, lost. I was one of those lost sheep. But God came. He left the 99 to find the one, to get me, to come and get the one, right? Glory be to God. He left the 99 to come for me. To get me. Amen. And so. It was like a paradox. It was. It was just so much. And even situations that people. That other people. That I dealt with put me in. That I could have. I could have. It could have been volatile. Like I, I could have just. Not be here today. And. Just how God. Hand. Was over my life. And I remember, and I'm fast forwarding, guys. Um, I remember me separating myself. Me, you know, and, and again, sometimes God has to shake some things up in, in, in your life. He has to shake some things up for you to move, for you to take those steps. Because clearly, you're not going to do it. I'm already showing you the red signs. You're not going to do it. So I have to do it for you. Amen. And I know many of us have experienced that God had to move us because we did not move ourselves when he told us to. Right. We being stuck on stupid. Right. And. Um, you know, I remember just the consumption of alcohol. And smoking. I, I smoked marijuana once upon a time. And, you know, I, I quit smoking. You know, just these vices, you know, I was using. Uh, women. Yeah. Women were a vice. Um, cigarettes were a vice. Um, vaping was a vice. Um, trying to... Uh, gaining all this... Material, material, materialistic, you know, these things, you know, were advice. Me trying to outdo the next person, if you will, you know, just, just silly, just just foolishness, right? Foolishness, complete foolishness. And, um, you know, marijuana once upon a time, but, you know, I had quit that. 
and you know just these vices that's what what it was you know women uh cigarettes marijuana once upon a time but out of that in in alcohol it's my vice and actually and being and being a people pleaser was a vice too right um if and again i'm very honest and transparent with you guys it was a vice and um After all that, you know, and just really, really just off of my own, really just literally, just literally off on my own, just off on my own, right? Had my education, working, doing both at the same time, and trying to build something, you know, just, and still just in sin and still just trying to make things happen. Just like not getting anywhere yet. You know, I was moving some things, but you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't going anywhere. Right. It was just stagnant. Finish uh, my education, uh, acquired my degree working and all those things um right still trying to find still lost still lost and um even to the extent like my mind i was be, i was conformed to this world i was conformed to this world i was just overtaken right but not gave over, right? If that makes sense to you guys. I was not gave over to the world, right? I did. God, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus. God did not give me over to a reprobate mind, right? So, but I was on my way to hell. I tell you that much. I was, I was on my way to hell, and um, just still trying to find something, right? It just lost, right? Some things were good, some things were not. And just off on my own, just really off on my own, right? Um, and then uh, my troubles, my sister, she was there for me. Like, she was there for me. Very overprotective, very overprotective. She was there for me. And I love you, sister. I, I, I love you. I love you. I love you. And Isaiah, I love you. I, I can't say your name. I love you. I love you. I love you, nephew. And so, doesn't matter. And I, I want to digress for a moment. I, it doesn't matter what you may think about me, your, your perception about me, what you think I should have done, should not have done. Listen, I am here for you guys. And your willingness to reach out, your willingness. I'm open. There's no discretion. I'm open. Always have been. And you guys know that. I'm still the same person. I'm still the same person. It's just I choose God. I choose God over my own life. I choose the Lord. That's the only difference about me. And my purpose in life. Only difference about me. His calling. His will, not my own. Amen. So, even in the midst of, you know, tr trying, just trying to find, right? Trying to find an awful my own. You know, I remember this one situation. And, and this leads into, you know, me surrendering my life to, to, to God, to Jesus Christ. And trust me, throughout the years, I've tried, but I, di I didn't. I'll stay with it, then I just remove myself, you know, and come back. You know, I wasn't serious about it. And I tell you, throughout the years, God has gave me vision. God has shown uh, uh, showed me these red flags. God was always speaking to me. He was always speaking to me. And I was being hard. I didn't want to listen, right? I didn't want to listen. I wasn't serious. I wasn't serious. I wasn't serious about the Lord. I wasn't serious. 
And so I remember, I remember I met someone. And the attraction was that, because I love children. I, oh, I adore children so much. I adore children. They're so adorable. And, you know, you they're just amazing. They're so adorable. I just love children. I love children. And what it the not what attracted me is like, okay, she, you know, my sister <laughs> My sister told me once upon a time, like, you always picking up strays. And that was true. I I hate I dislike I'm not gonna say hate. I dislike to admit to it. But she she was right. She she was right, right? <laughs> she was right and she would see she would see what I could not. She she would see right through a person. She would see right through, right? And me once just feeling, oh, I can help this person. Oh, I sh I can do X Y Z. Oh, she has a kid. Oh, he's a she has a kid. Oh, you know that 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 foolishness, right? And so I remember. Wow. My goodness, listen, you guys. <laughs> I remember um, we finally decided to meet. And I'm like, hey, so what are you going to do? You come in here? What What are you going to do? Right? Um, you want to visit? You know, the ball is in your court. But what did you choose to do? You know, and something happened with transportation, all this foolishness. <sighs> All this foolishness. And so I'm like, okay. Now I'll just drive to Chicago. Didn't want to. And even today, I refuse to drive to Chicago. For whatever reason. I don't care what it's for. I No. You can't pay me to drive to Chicago. My goodness. That experience sucked. Experience sucked so bad. So bad. Anyway. Pick her up, pick her son up. And I had my buddy come with me. Um, dry. Act like, she did, just dry, right? No communication, nothing, just dry. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, why? And, 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 and when, when all this is in motion, right? Because you already... Right, seeing, right? Seeing. Me thinking it. Me pursuing it. Picking her up. Bringing her back to my, my, my place, right? And all the while, doing a drive and when we made it back. I'm like, what am I doing? I was already irritated. I'm thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? Her kid. It was chaos. Just a bunch of chaos. Chaos. Irritation. And I'm not even going to bore you guys with too much of that. It was not anything physical. I didn't want to do anything physical. First of all, I, didn't, I don't know you from a can of paint, but, you know, still foolishness. Me come pick you up, right? You, 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 be, you in my personal space. You're in my home, right? She wanted to, to, to move. She wanted to move to the city, Um uh, you know, get herself together, all this stuff. It's like, man, this is reminding me of what my sister had told me, that I'm always picking up strays. At the same time, every person that I dealt with, every woman, I should say, that I dealt with, always has something going on. It's always woe with me situations, right? And me feeling like, oh, I can help, right? Foolishness, right?
family foolishness. And the Lord spoke to me. The Lord says, do you want peace? Or do you want chaos? Do you want peace? Or do you want chaos? And I said to myself, I want peace. I looked around. I see what was going on. I see her. I see the kid. My daughter, she was irritated. She was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what am I doing? I didn't feel right. And it, it wasn't clearly, we know that it wasn't natural. I felt embarrassed. I felt low of myself. I felt nasty. I felt, even though it was no physical activity, I didn't want that. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't want that. I, I I had no desire for that. I thought about it, but I, I I didn't have a desire for that. You know, that's just conviction. The whole the Lord, the Holy Spirit is bringing conviction into my life. You know, as as He always done. And this time I. I heard him, right? It's, I've always heard the Lord. I submitted to it. There it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I submitted to him. I submitted to the conviction. And it's like, I want peace. I want peace. I want peace. I don't want to live like this. I want peace. And so I'm like, okay, it's time for you to go. So what's going on? What are you going to do? You know, I didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to be mean. I'm like, so what are you going to do? So who's coming to pick you up? Uh, I, 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 I'm not driving back to Chicago. What are you going to do? Um, no money. She had no means. She, she just brought herself and her kid. In this car seat. Nothing. Nothing at all, right? And I'm like, okay. Since you're unsure. You don't know. Let me decide for you. Hey, I can buy you a Greyhound ticket. For you and your child. I think you got on free. No, I had to buy his ticket too. Yeah. Yeah, because he was six. Five, six. But anyway, I had to buy his ticket, so it was like, oh, it was for one way, of course. Uh, it was like 100, I'm sure it was about 160 bucks. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready to get this over, you know? And it was so long, right? And so, and that, that morning, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just, just over it, right? Just, just really over it. I'm like, yo, um, okay, he needs to eat because you guys have this this drive, you know, the bus, and he needs to eat. He's a kid. He didn't want to eat anything. He didn't want to eat anything. He didn't want to eat anything, anything. And so, driving to the bus station, of course, restaurant. Mom, I want, you know, I'm like, good grief. She's like, no, you can't have anything. I ain't got no money. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, boy. Okay, so listen, let me just diffuse all this. What do you want? Something to eat, something to drink, whatever, whatever. I was just over it, family. Like, I was completely over it. I was over it. Oh, good grief. I was over it. And saw them off, right? Saw them off. And I, the, the, the contact after, after the fact, the contact. And it was just, and, and also it was like this big deal. Because it, it seemed like she didn't want to take the Greyhound bus. Like she felt some type of way or how, I don't know how the bus system works uh, in Chicago. But like, I guess this, this train, this L train. So I don't know what it is. But it's like the the the, the destination where she was going to be dropped off at was like on the other side of town. Which was far from her living situation. It was just messy. All this stuff. I, but you know what? I didn't. 
I cared, but then I didn't care. It's like, you're going back home. That's what it is. You didn't pay for it. You're going back home. That's what it is. Right? And, and I'm not I'm not even going to talk bad about her or anything like that. I'm not even, I, I don't even have anything to say. You know, Lord knows. I know. I just need to hear it there. But anyway, um, but sin is sin. You know, sin is sin, right? Woo. So after the deportation, like after where it's just like the com communication just slowly, slowly, slowly uh, receded, right? It slowly receded and it, it was me. I wasn't feeling good about it. I I I I I didn't want any parts of it. I I didn't want to. You know what, <laughs> family? Honestly, what scared me, what I feared, being an old gray woman, trying to live a gay lifestyle, trying to be booed up with another old gray woman. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I'm like I'm. Just thinking about this, I'm like, no, 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 heck no, I, I don't want to be that woman. No, I, I don't want to be that woman. No, I even grew dreads, right? Because I felt like, listen, I outgrew braids. I'm like, that's what that was the hairstyle for me. Like, you know, the foolishness, right? I'm like, no, I, I it. I have to do something different, right? But anyway, so I I, I didn't want any. I, I it's just communication was lost, you know. And she she was contacting me. Don't speak to me anymore. X Y X Y Z X Y Z. It's like yeah. Finally, I told her I said this is not gonna work. And she got so mad about that because she says that I have plans moving there. You just gonna, you know, and I'm just paraphrasing. You just gonna like disregard me. You don't care about me. I gave my heart to you. So I was just mumble jumble, right? This, this, just all this filthiness, right? Like this filthy communication to women. We, 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 we are not designed in that fashion. We are not. I don't care how much you try to operate on yourselves. I don't care how much uh, 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 of this worldly knowledge or just be you, live your life. Love is love. The devil is a liar. I don't. I don't. I don't care in any way, shape, or form. No, the devil is a liar. God created man. God created woman. God brought the woman to the man. It's creation. In the beginning, that's creation, not this foolishness, not this deception, right? And, uh, you know, I didn't, I cared, but then it was like, I want peace. And again, you know, all these convictions, right? And even in the, in the midst of that, you know, God says, I want you to create. I want you to create. create YouTube feed my people ministry so I did that and even still having these contrary thoughts even even having a, a likeness for women that 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 um, unnatural affection excuse me even though I I wanted I still want peace and almost pursuing again, right? And definitely God's hands was in that. God, God's hands was in that. That was like, no. <laughs> Cut off. No. Right? It, it didn't even go anywhere. No meet up, no nothing, not any of that, right? And it was like, I'm doing something in you. I'm doing something in you. Allow. Allow me. Surrender. Surrender. Surrender it to me. And that those coming days, it was like, wow, I have to stop. I 
have to stop with these injections. I have to I have to stop with these uh, uh, dating sites. I have to stop this uh, vaping. I have to stop. I have to stop. I had to start reading my book. I had to surrender. I had to surrender. And and now it became very clear. Family, hear me. It 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 became very clear. As the Bible says, God tells us, I put before you life and death. Therefore, choose life. And I had the decision to make. I choose life. So here I am today, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. A true follower of Christ, a believer of Christ, called, anointed, appointed in Christ Jesus. I'm here, family. The Lord has dealt with me over the years. Even when I was still bumping my head, not making the great decisions, right? Thinking I know it all. No, I didn't. I didn't, right? Walking in carnality, right? And my, thank you, Holy Spirit, leaning onto my own understanding. Trying to live a life that God has not prescribed to me. Trying to be someone that I am not. Trying to just please everyone that I came in contact with. Trying, trying, trying. All this trying and just not being. Hear me, family. All this trying and just not being. Catch the revelation. All this trying and not being. Whom he called me to be. His will, his purpose. All God. All God. Here today. Here today. The declaration is in your mouth. The will of God is for everyone, whosoever. Whosoever. God says, I've set before you life and death. Life and death. And so many of us today have to choose which do you want? Which fruit do you want to live in and live by? Who do you want to orchestrate what's happening in your life? You want the enemy or you want your Lord and Savior? Which do you choose? Which do you choose? Which do you choose? And what God has done for us is irrevocable. Meaning, there's no reset. There's no take back. What, what they used to say, any and giving. If that is such a thing, I'm not sure. There's there there there, there it, it cannot be reversed. It can't be reversed. It can't be reversed. And your calling. The one who has called you can be reversed. He already predestined. He already called. Right? And so now it's like, wow, I see how different. And how much I missed out on. Like, honestly, I love being a woman. My gosh, I love it. Even though I am a single wife now, right? My husband, he, he's, he, he's coming. You know? Um, I've missed out. We are beautiful. We we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. And so, just living on the outskirts of what God has already ordained. It's it's unfulfilling. 
there's this entire black hole, this void. It 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 becomes to 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 a certain extent for me, it becomes it becomes shameful. I it was like a lot of shame I was carrying, a lot of shame, a, a heavy. It was very heavy shame. Just a, a lot of shame. I felt a lot of shame. And there was no fruit in it. There was no fruit in it. It was just a fig tree, a leaf. I was just a leaf. I was just a leaf, right? And 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 I wasn't bearing any fruit. I wasn't bearing any fruit. I wasn't. I was just existing and God came for me he left a 99 for the one and I am that one you are that one amen you are that one and just yielding just yielding to the word of God and just knowing that, listen, let's put some word on it. Let's put some word on it. And let's go to Romans. I'm still, listen, I'm eating, I'm, I am eating Romans. I'm still eating Romans. I'm still eating Romans. Eating on the word. Listen, family, if you have your Bible, seek the word yourselves. Feel free to have it. Get your Bibles. And um, Romans chapter 9, verse 15 and 16. Hear the word of the Lord. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. It does not therefore depend on human desire or effort, but on God's mercy. So God has mercy on you and I. It's not our desires. It's not our efforts. It's not our works. He's already predestined. He's already set apart his remnant for himself. Again, what a privilege. I will exhaust that word. What a privilege to serve the Most High, to be a servant to the Lord and to his people. Amen. It's not us. It is the Lord. And so, therefore, the Lord says, the same that I have for you, the same I have for other people. My grace, my mercy. My grace, my mercy. Verse 18, therefore God has mercy on whom he wants to have mercy. And he hardens whom he wants to harden. God's will. God's ways. And even, hear me family, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 20, but who are you? And this was me, right? This was me, the, the lifestyle I was living. I didn't have to speak it, but, but the lifestyle I was living showed, showed this. The lifestyle I was living back then was saying this, was exemplifying this. I was living this out. Verse 20, but who are you, a human being, to talk back to God? Shall what is formed say to the one who formed it? Why did you make me like this? 
Does not the powder the potter have the right to make out of the same lump of clay some pottery for special purposes and some for common use? So the lifestyle I was living back then, my old self, my old self, which has died, glory be to God, which has died, I'm saying to God, why had you formed me like this? Why do I think like this? Why do I? Without seeing it, my life, my lifestyle spoke itself, spoke for itself, right? Why? I don't want to. I don't like. I was made this way. I was, oh, oh, here it is. I was born this way. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God, I will call them my people who are not my people. And I will call her my loved one who is not my loved one. Right? Who God chooses his mercy, his grace. Who God chooses. Who God chooses. And listen, I, I full inclusion. Full inclusion. Full inclusion. Right? Full inclusion. Listen, family, I, w I wasn't always saved. I wasn't always saved. But God, He chose me. I didn't choose God. I didn't, I didn't choose. I've always, I've always, God always gave me visions that I'm standing on a platform speaking. And the Lord says, do not despise the small beginnings. And the Lord says, walk it out. The Holy Spirit reminded me yesterday. I was looking up something. I I, I was researching something. Um, I believe there were I was, there there were scriptures I was uh, researching, and just just looking in different uh, um, commentary and, and things like that. And like the Message Bible, the Amplify, you know, just looking right, referencing uh, scriptures. And across my screen, what showed up was walk in the truth. Walk in the truth. I was like, yes, Holy Spirit. God has trusted me to walk in the truth. And I'm here for it. I, I can't not be anything else or anyone else. I cannot. I was telling um, my supervisor, and I've told other people, I said, you know, it is hard. It is so disingenuous. It is just awful to try to play a role that I am not hired for. It's hard to be an actress. It's hard. I can't act. It's hard to play another character. It's hard for me. That's why I will never be an actress. And you will never see me on screen acting with the script. I can't do it. God says, walk in the truth. I have to walk in the truth. I have to speak the truth. I have to live the truth. I have to worship in spirit and truth. In spirit and in truth, I have to. That's me. I can't. I can't be anything or anyone else. Regardless of what you may think, regardless of what you may say, regardless of your preconceived notions, regardless of your personal, your opinions, regardless, it doesn't belong to me. Regardless, even thank you, Holy Spirit. People, it's not so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's not so much of the message. It's the messenger. People have a problem with the messenger. 
another past and another pastor says that right the holy spirit reminded me it's not the message it's the messenger and i am one of the messengers that he chose and so be it my life supposed to give god the honor and the glory his name be glorified his will be glorified not my own it is the Lord only. The Lord only. Chapter 11, Romans chapter 11, verse 5 says, So too at the present time. So too. So too at the present time. I don't know why my phone just got a little bit dark. So too at the present time. I was probably have to charge my battery. So too at the pres present time. There is a remnant chosen by grace, and if by grace, then it cannot be based on works. If it were, grace would be no longer grace. Amen. God gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes that could not see and ears that could not hear to this very day. To this very day. To this very day. And so now, family, hear me. Let me see if it's my battery. Give me a second, family. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it is my battery. I thought I'll stop. I thought I'll stop this whole uh, uh, video message. My old fudge. Anyway, it, it, it's my battery. So it is God and what He wants to do, His choosing, and a spirit of stupor, blind the eyes. Because remember, God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. And God does all things, all things for him and through him, from him, excuse me, from him, through him, and for him are all things. The glory belongs to the Lord. And so, I want you guys to understand. Listen, your pastor has not always been saved. I am still imperfect. I still sometimes feel that I, I, I'm not qualified. I still feel like I'm incapable. I still feel like I can't do it, Lord. I can't do it. Yet, he called me. He qualifies me. He knows my deficiencies. He knows my shortcomings. He knows all these things. And yet, just like he chose Moses. Moses had a problem with that, right? He felt like he was unqualified. He chose Gideon. Gideon felt some type of way, right? He felt like he wasn't qualified, right? Like you got the wrong one. You have the wrong one, right? Who are you, who are you talking about, right? Jeremiah. In his tender age, he felt some type of way. Right? But God says, don't you say that. I called you. You just walk in it. You receive it and walk in it. I will take care of the rest. Right? I'm not, you know, I it, listen, I'm I am not. The average. I am not what people are used to seeing. I am not. Uh, I, I. I. I'm not uh, that category. Uh, category. Categorized. I'm. I'm. I'm not that person. I'm not that person. I'm not the average woman that you may see. Period. Regardless, in the world, in the church. In the neighborhood, I'm not I'm 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 not that average or average woman. I am different. I am set apart. I'm unique. I'm different. And I don't compare myself to others. But I tell you this, you probably would not see me in a dress. Okay? You you probably would not see me in a dress. A nice business suit, okay, yes. All for it. Amen. Um, but I am I'm not your average woman, okay? And also I, I want again I want to say this. 
It's not the, so much the message. But Jesus did say, they will hate you for my name's sake. You will be persecuted. Right? That's a part of the calling. Yet in the midst of the, 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 the trials, the tribulations, the fires, right? The testing. God is with me. God is with you. He's with me. He is with you, right? He gives us endurance. He gives us the endurance. And many afflictions are of the righteous. Many afflictions are of the righteous. And God delivers us out of all. Amen. How many of you believe that? And it's not so much of the message. Right? It's the messenger. Many people may think X, Y, Z, right? I, I don't know people's hearts, but I have God always to reveal people's hearts to me, to heighten my discernment, right? To see the, 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 the fruit that they operate from, right? The, the spirit that people operate from, right? To, to, for all that to be revealed, right? And to move in discretion, right? We have to have discretion, right? And wisdom, amen? And so I, I, I can't do this by myself. I have to stay connected to the vine. I am the branch. God is the vine dresser. I have to stay connected. I, 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 I live. I move. My being is in Christ Jesus. There's no, there's no outside of that. There's no outside of that. I cannot lie. I, I, I can't tell you. I cannot tell you the truth. I cannot not tell you the truth, right? And... Just knowing that God called me out of the pits of hell. He called me out of the darkness into his marvelous light. He called me by name. He called me for himself. Here it is, family. Here it is. And for you too as well. He's calling you. All this shame that you feel. God would strip all that away. All those bad mistakes or the, 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 the cycle of the same thing, right? Your, your vices that, that you feel like, you know, uh, is a safety net for you. All these things that, doesn't, that are not of God and, and does not belong to you. He will strip you from all those things. He will strip you. And, and even when we still are... In our, even when we still are in our afflictions, even when we still are, you know, um, revisiting some thoughts, God gives us comfort. And we will receive our breakthroughs, right? We will receive our breakthroughs. And our purpose is for Him. Our lives are for Him. Not ourselves, but the Lord. Not ourselves. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about what Jesus has done for us. It's about who God is, who the Son is, and who the Holy Spirit is. And how all these things intertwine. And all those things that the devil meant for harm and people meant for harm. God turned it all around. He used it for our good. Amen. There's no shame. There's no longer con condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Your old selves has died. Buried. With Christ. Yet we rise. We are risen with Christ. In our minds. Our hearts. Right. Right. Are to think of those things that are above only. And who God called us to be. A woman. God called you to be a woman. He formed you as a woman. Walk in your identity. He called you. Fashioned you as a man. Thank God for man. Walk in it. The devil is a liar. Your vices. This 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 drunken drunkardness, the the, the 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 strife, the excessiveness of of these things, just all 
these fleshly attributes about yourselves. God has called you out of that. He stripped you from that. You are given a new life, a new creation in Christ Jesus. He wants you. He's waiting on you. Do you want peace? Do you want chaos? And I know, I understand. I understand. We have to walk this alone. It's me and you, God. It's me and you, God. Your family is not always going to be there with you. Your family is not always going to understand it. Your family just go probably think that you're crazy or think that you're just uh, misrepresenting yourselves or just think that God didn't call you or still may think that you're a nobody. People, even strangers, whatever. If there's some people in the church, right? God, you're no one. But the devil is a liar. You are someone. God has called you. He's called you. He calls you. Right? Jesus sees. He already looked in the distance. You're, you, 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 do you want to only on your fig tree? Do you only want leaves? Or do you want fruit? Do you want leaves or do you want fruit? Do you want peace or do you want chaos? Do you want the spirit of the truth? Or continue in the spirit of deception. Do you want life? Or do you want death? Do you want to speak life? Or do you want to continue to speak death? Which do you choose? You want God? Or you do, do you want man? You can only serve one. And hate the other. Who do you choose? And God is asking you today. Who do you choose? Who do you choose? And that's the beauty about decisions, choices that God gave us. Free will. Free will. Free will. You want his will? Or do you want your own? Trust you. Believe you me. Your own will is futile. It's stink. It's desolate. Is not important. It carries no weight. It can't hold any weight. There's no life. There's no life. There's no life. Which do you choose? So now, Romans chapter 7, verse 4. So, my brothers and sisters, you also died to the law through the body of Christ, that you might belong to another, to him who was raised from the dead, Jesus, who we belong to. Life, not death, no longer death. Amen. To whom? To him who was raised from the dead in order that we might bear fruit for God. A righteous instrument. Fruit of the Spirit. Life in the Spirit. For when we were in the realm of the flesh, the sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in us so that we bore fruit for death. Verse 6, But now by dying to what once bound us, we have been released from the law so that we serve in the new way of the Spirit and not in the old way of the written code. Period. Period. Now I serve in a new way, in a new way of the spirit and not of the old way of the written code. That's not only for me, family. That's for you too. That's for you too. And today, right now, is your day of salvation to surrender. Put it down. Put it down to surrender it all. 
You can't hold anything for yourself. No, you can't keep this. You can't keep that. No, you can't have one foot in, one foot out. We're not doing a hokey pokey. You can't do that. Surrender all. And God is asking you to surrender it all today. To surrender it all today. Surrender it all. Do you want to continue living according to the flesh or do you want to continue living according or do you want to begin living according to the spirit? God is asking you today. Who do you choose? Who do you choose? And I tell you, I've come a long way. I kid you not, family. I came a long way and still going a long way. Amen. I'm not, there's no completion to the coming of Christ. I truly, I've said this before. I truly believe that there is no completion until the coming of Christ. I am still walking that narrow path. And it's a decision I have to make daily and to know who I am in Christ, my identity. I am a woman in Christ. I am a woman of faith. I am a woman of prayer. Right? A woman in the spirit, the spirit of God. A woman in purpose, a woman in calling, a woman in power, a woman in authority, a woman connected to the vine. Amen. And so I encourage you. I speak to our hearts of encouragement. I speak to you. Who do you choose? Do you want life or do you want death? It's plain. It's plain. It's so plain as this white t-shirt that I am wearing. It's so plain, plainer than that. There's no abstract. There's nothing, there's no patterns. It's plain, plain. Which do you choose? Which do you choose? Which do you choose? And I'm going to leave you with this. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Period. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. So what is that saying to us? The Lord is saying... If you're not led by the Spirit, you are not mine. I do not know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. Get thee behind me, workers of iniquity. I don't know you. I don't know you. My Father is Spirit. Therefore, we worship Him and serve Him in spirit and truth. His kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. His kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. I am not of this world. I've created the world. I put you in the world, but you are not of it. Who do you choose? Hear me, family. Who do you choose? Who do you choose to serve? Today is your day of salvation. Today is your opportunity to say, Lord, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for your son. I thank you for the blood. I believe your word. I choose you today. I choose your grace. I choose your mercy upon my life. I choose God. I choose you. I believe your son has died for me. That I am a new creation in Christ. I surrender it all to me, Father God. I surrender it all to you, Father God. Help me, Holy Spirit. I surrender all to you, Father God. Now is my day of salvation. I choose you today. Help me, Father God, to give it all to you. I choose to surrender. Help me to give it all to you. I don't want to keep anything that is of myself. I give it all to you. I give it all to you. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart. 
Jesus, I choose you to be Lord and Savior over my life. Help me become more like you and less of myself. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. So family, listen. Free will. Choice is yours. He chose you to be a witness as well. To witness in your testimony. Many, many of us have testimonies. And I do believe this, this my testimony, my testimony will set some people free today. You're, you're no longer condemned. There is no shame. It's who God says that you are and who God called you to be before the foundations of this earth. Before the world, he predestined you, he called you. Amen. Family, is so much more to say. But I'm just going to leave you with that. This is a part of my testimony. And again, I'm just out of obedience. God told me to speak of my testimony again today. So here it is. I hope my testimony blesses someone. I know that my testimony will set a couple people free today. Amen. I honestly believe that in my spirit, I believe this testimony, my testimony was set. A couple people today will set some people free today. Not many, even if it's two or three. I believe there's two or three will set some people free today. Amen. The Father will cleanse our hands. The Father will wash us by the blood. He will cleanse our heart. He will give us a seamless heart for him. The desires that he has for us, he will put those things into our heart. So we know and what we ought to ask for. The spirit of truth, amen, will guide us unto all truths. The spirit of God, again, not our desires, not our efforts. It is God, amen. And we boast in him alone. What a privilege. It is a privilege. It is a privilege. It is a privilege. And you know, we have to all bear our own cross. And it's not always easy. I don't always want to do this. I don't always want to bite my tongue. Right? I don't always want to walk in the spirit. Be kind be gentle right I fall you know we have to be who God called us to be though we are imperfect but the spirit of God those who are led by the spirit of God are the children of God so there is no in between there is no some days I'm this some days I'm that no Every day, it is a lifestyle. Like the pastor says, it is a lifestyle. Imitate what is good. And the word says, imitate what is good and not evil. And you, been, you and I have been freed. We are free. Free in Christ Jesus. Set free in Christ Jesus. From all evil and none and from all unrighteousness and all wickedness. And yes, God will perfect those things that concern us. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. And he chose you. He's waiting on you. Free will. Choose life or death. Amen. Family, I hope this word blesses you. I hope my testimony ministering to you. Meet you where you are. And again, he's choosing you. He already chose you. He's asking you, what do you choose? Right? Choices. Choose. Right here, right now. Choose. Choose. Amen? Choose. Choose. I'd rather you be hot or cold. Choose. Not lukewarm. I'd rather you be hot or cold. Choose. Christian. A true follower. A true 
praiser, a true worshiper, a true believer. The spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. There's no other. I don't care how much man twisted. Or how much knowledgeable they think they are. Which is carnality. It's all false. The truth is the truth. And it stands by itself. The truth speaks for itself. The word of life. The word of life is Jesus. Only Jesus. The only way. The only. King of kings. Lord of lords. The only living. The only living God. The only living Son of God. The only Spirit of truth. There's no other way. No other way. Maybe Jesus says you are a thief. You are a robber. There's another way. Amen. So, guys, I appreciate all of you. Much gratitude. Amen. And just trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. Trust in the Lord. And delighting ourselves in the Lord. And letting the Lord love on us. And to continue to walk in the truth. There is no compromise. There's no compromise. Don't let anything, anyone, or any influences compromise your walk. Don't let the Holy Spirit, don't let, don't allow yourself to compromise your walk with Jesus Christ. Walk in the truth. Amen. I love you guys with the love of Christ. Remember, he chose you chose you it's already finished he chose you amen you guys enjoy the rest of your day be safe you are blessed and be a blessing unto others this is fellowship social mixer if it be the will of god we will talk soon i am your pastor duanel of this ministry amen and again much gratitude to all the followers of christ not my will his will be done amen I love you all. You guys take care. And remember, peace be unto you. I love you all. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. This is Fellowship Social Mixer.